everybody so this is the tail end dpu of the train that caught on fire we finally went down downtown uh cameron saw the end of the train well i mean it would have been the beginning that they split off so this is uh what's left of the train rest is on fire burning as of right now pretty cool though so here it is this is the train that would have pulled into galveston a couple hours ago if it weren't for that truck so yeah, 5755 is this locomotive. And it looks like a standard uh, Jeevo. Pretty cool, y'all. Check it out some more. I don't think the engineer's even in it. They came and picked him up. This is a DPU after all. They could have done it remotely for all I know. Ah, it's pretty darn cool, y'all. Doing its air pressure thing. Now, this train will only move once the extra power gets here. Uh, but yeah, they have saved all the cargo, which is very good. Um, so they're gonna take the lead units of the train that derailed, pull them back up, and this will move eventually, but I just won't be here for it. It's a pretty cool looking train though. And uh, back off in the background there, you can see there is a little bit of smoke left from where it derailed. Pretty cool. Since there are no other trains gonna be here for months, I'm just gonna sit up here on the tracks right now. Now, if I'm not wrong, yes, it is in the siding right now. BNSF has learned better than UP, I guess. It's pretty cool. I don't get to see too many BNSF trains. Really cool, y'all. Just sitting here. All right, so whatever I said it's not, it's an ES-44. AC. It's an ESC 44 AC. ES 44 AC. I finally pronounced it right. Yay. All right. So that's probably going to be it for now. I will walk around the locomotive and check it out real quick. So uh, have fun with the rest of the video. I'm standing in front of a BNSF train. Why does this remind me a little bit of uh, Unstoppable? The, the, sh the front view they had of it. Kind of weird. I guess it's because the BNSF leaser units is what they used. That looks really cool, guys.